It was hot out here tonight. Hot? I need to take this off. <laughs> That's how hot it is. It's very warm. But the heat didn't keep away thousands who lined the streets of downtown Minneapolis to watch the 48th annual Torchlight Parade. We've been here since 5 o'clock this afternoon. We've come 65 miles to see this parade. There was a twist to this year's parade. Instead of starting at Parade Stadium, as it has in the past, this year the parade kicked off at Central and University, near River Place. Another difference this year is the so-called Parade Wars. Two stations bringing in big-time personalities to boost their ratings for the event. Sure, I've worked with Willard on a parade. We did, we did the uh, Macy's Parade one, one year together. He's a great guy, and, uh, you know, all that stuff's in, in fun, at least between us. <laughs> Pat Sajak, with, he's always been a perfect number two. I mean, the show's obviously Wheel of Fortune's on its way out. What channel's it on, yours or ours? So why didn't these people stay home and watch? It's better being there than at home. Girls, girls, yeah. Definitely the girls. There's something for everyone, even with this year's changes. Cindy Hilger, WCCO Television News, Minneapolis. Cindy was out there uh, in the most intense part of the heat, but as time wore on, as you'll find out later on in Mike Fairborn's forecast, it got uh, sort of breezy out here. It's still breezy as we're sitting right on the edge of the river at 3rd Avenue and 1st Street at our anchor desk outside. We had a Fighting perfect the bugs, view, yes. by the way. But we had a perfect view, and we really had perfect parade weather. Everybody had a terrific time. And as things wrap up, we're going to wrap up here and send it back to you. And we'll see you again tomorrow on the 10 p.m. report. All right, very good. We'll have news of another celebrity later on the 10 p.m. report. Joan Collins is in the midst of a multi-million dollar divorce settlement. Always a favorite for the junior set. I like the flowers, especially the ones with the, the kids. Before the parade began, we got some trade secrets from this regal bunch. People say that you should make a figure eight. If I, if I do that, I make one on this side, so... I got it. Less professional waivers were also at it. There's so much to take in, so much to be captivated by. I like the, the costumes and the floats and, and the people and the dances. And... and for many adults, the best part of the parade is taking a magic ride backwards by seeing it through a child's eye. Yeah, I think you share it right with them. You relive all of those experiences of the times the two road floats yourself or, you know, wanted to or whatever, yeah. I think it makes it special. There are many children up way past bedtime tonight, and when sleep comes, many dreams will certainly be peppered with the fantasy that walks the streets. For the Eyewitness News Update, I'm Kevin Berger. That's I guess I haven't grown up. By your local Twin Cities Mazda dealers. The more you look, the more you like Mazda value. By Ragu Foods Pasta Meals. Grow up to Ragu Pasta Meals. Great taste you don't get from canned pasta. And by Shamatov, the super premium bar. And good evening. I'm Mike Walter with Debbie Ely. And on the 10 p.m. report, 3M sends 350 employees packing or else. Minnesota's biggest HMO may lose a clinic that serves 60,000 patients. And an eventful trial begins. Assassins have been faithful to the country they defend. Now, military prosecutors claim that has changed, at least in the case of one Marine from St. Paul. Good evening, everyone. Clayton Lone Tree tonight is the first Marine ever to be court-martialed for spying. The first day of the trial set the tone with talk that the prosecution will call a secret witness to help prove... Unusual enough. Lone Tree is the first Marine tried on espionage charges. But rumblings of a secret witness add to the web of intrigue. A military judge today ruled a government witness can testify and remain...